power attack, bitch! It was pretty underwhelming. <laughs>
When we played Lumines, I think I gave it like a really hard time. And, and it wasn't, again, it was nothing against the concept of Lumines. I think I was just shocked that I was playing the same game twice. So uh, take my take my uh, shock at Lumines with a grain of salt. Uh, but I, 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 do, I do maintain that Lumines feels very Tetris-y, you know? Um, ooh, we got some kind of crazy bonus. I think this is Overdrive. This is it. Boom, boom. Um, I do maintain, though, that there are sort of Tetris-y like puzzle games, and there are uh, non tetris -y puzzle games. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. Um, so, like Columns, Dr. Mario, Tetris, even things like Yoshi's Cookie and stuff, I would say that's all very Tetris-y, because it's sort of like shapes falling from the sky, and you kind of have to do something with them to clear them. Um, things that are not tetris -y include this, where there's things coming from multiple directions. I mean, as much as we make fun of Bejeweled whenever we're forced to play a Bejeweled game, because there are a couple Bejeweled games in the book, um, you know, Bejeweled is at least not Tetris. Like, it is a, di it is a fundamentally different kind of puzzle game. So, I not that I dislike Tetris-based puzzle games, but it is refreshing to see developers trying new things, because I feel like... Tetris is kind of like an easy answer. If you're a game developer and you're trying to make a puzzle, it's really easy to make a puzzle of things just falling from the sky a la Tetris, you know? Um, oh, things are coming real fast now. Oh, yikes. Oh, God. Oh, God, I messed up. I was going to say, how long can we maintain this? Look at all the, these combos we're getting. We're 54 meters forward. It's insane. It's insane. I like the uh, music, by the way, and sound effects in the background. This game, by the way, was created by the uh, developer behind Pixel Junk Shooter and all the other Pixel Junk games. Um, so Pixel Junk, or, or Q Games made Pixel Junk, which is uh, one of, uh, it is like a classic uh, PS3 game in uh, my opinion. Oh God. You know what, the white, the white ones are actually gonna screw me up a lot. Shoot, I, I I can't even. You know what's funny? This game, the, the concept of this game is incredibly simple. Yet I think I'm start. I think two pieces I can do, three pieces. My I, I can't even think fast enough. Okay, we gotta we gotta do this. White on the right, red on the left, and then black will go up or down. We'll just let that go like that. That go like that. Okay, I think we got this. Sort of. Go like that, like that. Oh, here we go. I like this mode. This mode is actually pretty fun. Uh, it requires you to think a lot. Oh, 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 almost failed there. Yeah, everyone go in there. Everyone go in there. Yeah, everyone. Oh, no, 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 I failed. Damn. With this game, you can, like, notice you made a wrong move, but it's, like, it's too late to do anything about it. So, yeah. Um, now, getting, like, double combos and stuff is probably what I should be going for. I read that the best way to, uh, sort of move your puck as far as possible is to get, like, bonus double combos. And, oh, that one was easy. It's nice when the pieces just go where they need to go. You don't have to do anything. I feel like that's actually really rare. Like, speaking of Tetris, it's really rare in Tetris for, like, a piece to be falling in the exact right rotation in the exact right spot of where it needs to go. But it happens sometimes in this game because there's only four colors. Now, I think there's only four colors. I actually have no idea if there are possibly more. Oh, shoot. We had no choice there but to send a white one forward. Oh, and it doubled all of our stuff. I like how that worked out. Um, we'll send this guy up, this guy down, left. Man, it is hard. It is so hard to like comment while I'm doing this at the same time. So forgive me, guys. My my brain is not where it needs to be. Um, did any of you guys ever, by the way, download games from the DSI, like the Nintendo uh, sort of DSWare store? Oh my god, all my alleys are getting screwed up here. Okay, we need a second to sort of re reconfigure everything here. Um, I, I never really ever took advantage of Nintendo online features, I'll be totally honest. I mean, like, for me, the height of Nintendo was the NES. You know, I've said this many, many times, but, like, after the Nintendo Entertainment System, I didn't play a lot of Nintendo, so I kind of skipped over the N64 and GameCube. 
Um, I certainly did not own a DS at, at, the, at the height of it. Um, you know what? I'm not a huge mobile gamer, I think I will say. Uh, mobile gaming is fine. And for a lot of people, like for their lifestyle or whatever, it's like it's more convenient for them to play mobile. For me, it never has been. I've always had like an apartment with like a, a TV and, you know, I don't have to share the TV with anyone. I can just play as much as I want and I answer to no one. Um, I'm really sort of, you know, like uh, like an old school cowboy in that way. And as a result, oh, I'm screwing up my alleys. As a result of that, it's like I've just never, I've never really felt the urge to game as I travel. It's like I game so much when I'm at home. I don't really need to, you know, like I'm 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 on the the bus to work or you know like I'm uh, on a plane or something like that. I, I can sort of turn off gaming for a bit. I don't need to, to uh, game while I travel. But I know there are other people where it's like they wouldn't have the opportunity to game if they didn't game mobile. So it's like you know mobile games were their thing. And I think if I were into mobile gaming, I probably would have had a uh, DS. I probably would have gone that route because it seems like the DS had more of the kind of games that I think I would have liked. Um, not to say like the PSP or anything wouldn't have, but like I, I'm really into the old school platformers and stuff, and I just think a Nintendo system would be more likely to have those. Oh, game over, by the way. I didn't even notice. So the whole point of this game is to outrun a giant piston that's trying to catch up with your spaceship, and this, the piston caught up and killed us. So after 273 glorious meters, our journey has come to an end, guys. Um, all right, so with that with that done, uh, there's one other game mode here, which is we can play against a computer. So I'm curious to see how this works. Skin, Digis style. Is there any other skins here? Etc. Random. Hit me up. Oh, I don't like that skin at all. Let's just go with standard. Oh, look, and you can have like different color schemes and stuff. I like the white and the red. See, it's a good color scheme. It's also the the, the national colors of Canada, so that works. Um, all right, so we're playing against a computer. I don't know how this works necessarily, but I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, maybe the computer controls the game half the time or something. By the way, I think if you press the A button, you launch those sireny. Uh, pieces that can like clear lines. So if you do want to, you can intentionally clear a line. Ah, oh, shoot. That white one's just going to push the red one right out of dodge. Um, all right. Now, the uh, I think the bit generations and the art style inter shoot, intersect uh, games were only ever released in Japan, if I've got my facts correct. And I feel like that's a little bit of... Uh, little bit of a waste you know like i think a game like this would have done well in north america and and as i understand too i think it actually even had a north american release at one point but uh for for whatever reason it just did not materialize so i kind of like the idea of like a little side series of like smaller games you know like the art style uh games or the bit generations like whatever system we're talking about i like the idea of just having these sort of like smaller uh, experiences available for people but at the same time um, I feel like Japan gets a lot more of that Japan tends to get more experimental games I think like from my experience and what I've seen Japan always gets a lot of the experimental stuff and then it's usually only things that are like a sure bet that ever make their way over to uh, to North America I don't know why that is it's like Japan Nintendo just does not have confidence in like North American consumers or something like that I mean I don't know Maybe, maybe we haven't been the most trustworthy bunch where we're buying products uh, reliably enough. Like, maybe they've run the numbers and they're like, Americans, they can't be trusted. We have to, I don't know why they talk like Russians, but we have to give our best games to Japan first. Uh, and then accent kind of turn into a pirate at the end. I'm really bad with accents. It's, it's another, that's another thing about me. Um, instant attack. Oh, the computer can attack you? I, I don't even know what's going on. So apparently there's a computer around. I don't see him. I don't know what he's doing or where he's hiding, but he's lurking about and he attacked me. Uh, I don't like that. So I'm going to do this, which... Oh, I think I understand what's going on half. Um, I, so I think I understand what's going on. Um, the computer's on one side, I'm on the other, and we both have to kind of like shoot at the uh, puck in the middle and try and get it to the other guy's side. 
So it's kind of like a, the slowest game ever of air hockey. I think I kind of get it. So if we can get like a lot of fuel uh, into these, then we might have a shot here. Man, if I could get like an overdrive right now, that would be insane. I feel like overdrive is really hard to get when you have all three colors because you have to like get all the lanes at once active. And we just screwed that lane over. The kind of siren pieces actually kind of screw you over a bit. There's also like a bomb thing. Oh, the computer launched it at us. I was too busy watching that. I did not watch my pieces. I think I've screwed it all up, guys. Man, look how close we are to losing. That puck is like almost on our side. We are so close to screwing it all up. All I need is like six more red pieces all in a row. If you could give me that game, damn it. I would be really, really grateful. Said it gave me a white piece that screws up my whole bottom. My bottom is all messed up. Don't take that quote out of context. All right, here's my new plan. White on the bottom. We're gonna have a sandwich with white on the bottom. Actually, black on the bottom. Auto guard. I think I might have just lost. There's a bomb that bounced off a clock. I don't know what's going on. Apparently, I'm in a duel to the death. And I'm not necessarily losing, but I'm not what you'd call winning. I, my, my performance does not classify in the traditional sense of the word winning. So I guess we'll just keep going until the computer beats me because I'm, I'm sure the salute, the way that you are supposed to do this is by getting uh, combos. But I, I don't remember exactly how to do those. I think you have to have multiple fuel things going at once and then, yeah, something like that. I don't know. If you have at least two fuel things going at once and you clear one of them, then you like double the fuel. And I think that's the key. That is the key. Okay, so we'll clear that. Oh, I should have gone like that. I don't know why I did. I'm stupid. Uh, we'll go like that, like that. Come on, white! Boom! Boom! How have we? How has the computer not beaten us yet? Is my my question. Like, how bad is the computer that... Like, because we, we are not doing good. Look at our piece. Look at our puck. It's like on the far end of our side here. We're just... In, we're, we're moments away from imminent defeat. Uh, here we go. We're going to have three at a time. Do you think we could get four? Is that in the cards? I want to get this, like, uh, overdrive mode, man. Ah, oh, shoot. It's not in the cards. It's totally not in the cards. Do this, 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 you know, I should like just clear one of these intentionally. Oh God, auto guard. I was trying to get double fuel. All right, well this, this game seems to go on and on and on. I kind of feel like, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just launch all of our glowy ones. I assume at some point I'll lose and that will be the end of that, but uh yeah this this is this is uh what's this game called uh, art style intersect according to the book well that's the ds version but we're actually playing digidrive today this is one of the games in the book a thousand one video games you must play before you die and uh i'm just gonna let the performance go a bit so i can like take a look at my notes here um so anyway it's one of the games in the book and i'm kind of curious i wonder how many people out there actually played this as it was DigiDrive. And I'm curious how many people played it as Art Style Intersect. And I'm curious if you can even still get this game. Uh, you know, like for anyone out there with the 3DS, again, if you can check the DSiWare, let me know because it's, I'm always curious for these like old games that are being like old, this is 2009. It's not old in the grand scheme of things, but it's like 10 years old now. But like, can you even still get this game on the DS or is it just sort of like lost to the ages? You know, I'd be really curious to know. If it is Lost of the Ages, it's a little sad, even though uh, I think it's just a pretty basic puzzle game, and uh, it wouldn't be that much of a loss for this game to be lost. I mean, you can still play the Game Boy Advance version, but, uh, you know, I, I would have liked to have tried the DS version. So, anyway, let me know what you guys uh, think of this game in the comments down below. As always, I'm always curious to hear your take on this. It's a pretty basic game, so we're not really going to linger too long on this. Um, and if you do have any fond memories of this game or tips or anything like that or, or other trivia or knowledge about it, please share that as well. 
Um, as always, whatever you think of the, the game, hopefully I've made today entertaining and kind of interesting. If I have, don't forget to slap that like button and be back soon because I because I will be back soon with another video and another game. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I feel like the computer really takes it easy on you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just like sitting here. Speed down. Speed down. I haven't really pressed left or right in a long time. The pieces are just randomly going. I'm not earning any fuel. Yet the computer seems unable to defeat me. Man, it has been several minutes and it's still not over. This is the only puzzle game I know where you can like literally walk away from it and not lose for like minutes. Minutes at a time. Oh, we finally lost. Thank God. What was that? Five minutes and seven seconds of not touching the controller. That is insane. Oh, <laughs>